Here we are at Century Link Field for this NFC East versus NFC West matchup between the Eagles and the Seahawks. You don't want to hear about these quarterbacks managing the game. And here's why I hate it, Jim. Because no matter how they play, they'll say if they win, they'll go, well, he managed the game well. And then if they lose, well, he can't make enough plays. He's just a game manager, so no matter what he so no matter what these quarterbacks do, it won't it will not be good enough for the fans and the media who cover. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Offense lines up here. They hand it off to the running back. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Second down. Running back gets it on the handoff. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. And they go back to the ground. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Well, I think early in the game, anytime you cross the 50-yard line, it just gives you confidence that what you're doing is going to work today. Let's see if they can take advantage of that and take it on down into the end zone. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Looking for Percy Harvin. What a catch down the middle of the field. How you perform inside the red zone is often the difference in a game, and we'll get an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. you got to be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense calls. And Harvin, with some nice hands, brings in the bullet pass. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. That reception gave them the first down. Baldwin's handed the football. Now, power serve for six. Touchdown. Ah, oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first to go. If you score, now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets the third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run, nice touchdown. He made it. Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. He had nowhere to go, and they deck him at the 16-yard line. Come to the line, and it's first down. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. Makes the catch in open space. When you talk about throwing the football into open space, that's almost always against zone defenses. That's what we saw that time. Good job of the quarterback throwing it in there. Third and six. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Michael Vick will be under center. Hauls it in for the first down. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius, don't you? Here's the first snap after the big play. First down, throwing again. That ball has been picked off. 
that interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Go run it. Here's the handoff. To the right side. He's got some daylight. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. First and ten, challenging the defenders to the right side, makes the grab. Hard to play man to man against such a quality wide receiver. He's fast, he's big. You gotta mix up the coverage. You play straight man to man, you're gonna give up a lot of completions. First and ten, Tate's gonna secure the handoff. Out to the 23. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Russell Wilson, touchdown, Seattle. Well, there's an old saying in the NFL, you know how many points you need? And the answer is more. So no matter what the lead is, keep trying to score. Nice job of the offense getting that extra touchdown. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. at the 18-yard line. Yeah. Macklin's lined up in the slot. Vic will take it from the gun. Throws to the right. And almost picks off. A lot of athleticism on display right there. Two battling for the football and no one able to come away with it. Well, you said it right. Two tremendous athletes, but a good job by the defense that time. They won out. The Eagles come out in the pistol. Second and ten. Trying to work that left side. Should have had it. It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When they're not on it, that's when you drop it, and that's what happened that time. Macklin's going to get set in the slot for the snap. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. LaShawn McCoy is just one crafty dude. He knows how to avoid tackles and pick up extra yards. Good job. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten. Vic play action. Throwing now to his left. Almost intercepted. That was an incomplete pass that time against cover two. The two deep safeties and... You really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that. And that's why it was incomplete. Macklin's in the slot. Handoff to the back. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Well, Jim, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. and 15 and the pass is intercepted fights off the hit that was an awesome job by the defense he just made the quarterback side they got in position and they made the interception first down coming up wide open for the catch touchdown Seattle Seahawks how about this get? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. Makes the PAT. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And they're all over him 
at the 18-yard line. The Eagles line up in the pistol offense. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Vick in shotgun formation. Throws the pass. Brings it into his body. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass. Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. Macklin's lined up now as a slot receiver. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. He's into the open. When you gain big yards like this, that means you have a lot of talent. LaShawn McCoy has it all. He can break tackles and he can outrun you also. The Eagles will go with the pistol on this play. Now, makes on his way. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. What an effort and a touchdown. There is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done, and this team definitely has one. Alex Henry ready for the kickoff. Got the hand up into the sky, and that means fair catch. On first down, Wilson standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Baldwin's going to pull in the bullet pass. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. First down and 10. Slashing to the right side. They've got him down there. Good run that time. It results in a first down and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Hire that defense out. First down here after the run. And he's forced to the ground. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. Run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Secures it with two hands. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Goes deep to Sidney Rice. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second and ten. Kerry Williams has the pick. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Macklin's lined up in the slot. First and ten. Vick sells the play fake and looks downfield. Incomplete and almost intercepted. 
It was a jump ball, in essence, for that throw. And in the end, the defense was able to make the play and deny the completion. In the NFL, it's always about the most physical guy wins. And that time, it was the defensive player. Good job. Second down and 10. Gets away from the pressure. He'll fire it out to the left. Makes the catch in the open field. Oh, there's nothing like a play-action pass. When the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw down the field for that completion. First and ten, Vic turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. The catch is made in the secondary. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven. But don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Macklin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. They motion the receiver around to the other side. On second and nine, reaches out and snatches it. They bring him to the turf. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gives the completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. They've got a first down now after that catch. KC's going to take the handoff now. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Touchdown. This game is tight. That's a nice touchdown there, and you're chipping away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? If you hear the word choke, yeah, I think they can be choking over there on the other side. Look at Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Makes the move and gets around the defender. Baldwin's in the slot. First and ten. The give. They're going to run it right. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Makes the reception. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. Third and five still to go, even after that last completion. Looking to the right side and throwing. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. He's looking to go down the field here. And the interception by Patrick Chung. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. <laughs> Macklin's a receiver in the slot. McCoy, he's headed right, gets past the first wave. 
LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. Here they come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Searching for space to the right. The Eagles signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. Setting up in the pistol on this play. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Second down and seven. Screen play is on. That'll stop the play right there. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Macklin's lined up in the slot. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Lined up in the pistol formation. The Eagles use another timeout here, and they have one left. Cooper's going to get set in the slot for this snap. As the reception all alone. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, do you? The way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. This is going to be a long field goal attempt. possession for the offense. A missed kick on the long field goal try, and now the momentum swings the other way early in the game. Oh, yes, it changes things in this game, no doubt about it. And I'll tell you, that's why you pay head coaches all that money. They have to make decisions just like that. Either punt it or go for the long field goal. They didn't make it. We'll see if the defense can bail the team out. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. He'll throw it over the middle. Sidney Rice with the reception. That does it for the first half. Eagles trail in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Seahawks are leading by eight. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Good piece of tackling. Michael Vick will be under center. The second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. Man intercepted! When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now can their offense take advantage of this situation? With this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Barwin gets to him for the sack. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sack. The blitz was well-timed, and when it's well-timed, the offense doesn't have time to react, and they get a good sack. Second and 22. Looking across the middle, right where it had to be. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today.
first and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And there is a sideline pass incomplete as rule. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a chasm. Touchdown. Nice job running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback, and we get a touchdown. The Seahawks with the PAT to come. No, it's not. It's a fake. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. this return completely covered tackling him inside the 15 <laughs> offense lines up here first and ten they go up the middle games about three you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive so you have to run the football every once in a while that run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Offense lines up here. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. Jackson's in the slot. Third and seven. Scrambling out of the pocket. He's in the clear. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, we just never know. First and 10. McCoy's got it on the handoff for a gain of about five. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. And the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. Another carry here. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Safeties now in the NFL have to cover like a corner, and they got to tackle like a linebacker. And that time the safety came up, and he tackled like a linebacker and stopped that outside run. Bad play call that time by the defensive coordinator. It's fourth and short. There's only a couple plays you know the offense is going to run. They were not ready, and they give up a big first down. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Five, maybe six out of that. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Well, when you get a couple first downs on a drive, it just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller, and there's nothing like dictating to the defense. Love Terrible throw by the quarterback. Terrible route by the wide receiver. Oh, wow, what a shock. The football was incomplete. Marching down the field and taking their time. Second down at 10. In trouble now. Eyeing that left side. In stride and he's poked for the touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense. That time nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field. And hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. Lining up now for the two. Dropping back three. And so they convert it here on the two-point drive. Alex Henry ready for the kickoff. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The 
quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. That brings the play to an end. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second down and four. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Breaks the tackle. And that's a gain of nine. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Back to the ground. Right side. That's a gain of eight. The off-tackle run is just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle spot and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Well, it's a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Screen pass. Ah, the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. Tate's lined up in the slot. Second and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. The Seahawks get a first down. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside the 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. So first and goal to go. Pitches it back. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Trying to beat the play clock. 15 minutes to go. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The quarterback is coming, to, and he's in for the touchdown. Keep being aggressive on the offensive side. That's what they did that time. That's why they scored. They kept going after it. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. That hurts. The two-point try is denied. and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Jackson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. McCoy is taking the handoff. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting when they hold the running back to a short game. Vic's going to take it from the gun. And the quarterback is taken down. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free and they sacked the quarterback. Third and 20 flying across the middle. That ball is rifled to Deshaun Jackson, who makes the catch. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The defense comes out in the nickel. Looking to scramble. I like this play call this time. They go for it on fourth and short, and they call the right play, and they pick up the first down.
Jackson's in the slot. First and ten. Escaping the pressure. And a flag is down. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. And they can't connect. Holding offense. The defense will take the penalty. Still first down. After the 10 yard step off, first and 20 to go. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Getting away from the pressure. He's got some daylight. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens the defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, Gets those big boys over there tired. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Into the end zone for the touchdown. How about that? The fullback scores the touchdown. He does all the blocking, gets beat up all the time, but nothing like getting the football where you can score to get it done. The Seahawks are set to return to kickoff. out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He's brought to a halt. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense has got to be happy with that. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. On first down, it's back to the ground game. And he'll try it left. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Second down and seven. Trying to find an opening to the right. Lynch with an impressive run. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. First down following the long play. The wide receiver in motion. They need to get the playoff. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Staying with the running game on first down. Goes to the left. That's a timeout call. The Seahawks in the pistol. Second and nine. Going off tackle here. Trying the right side. A game breaker. Touchdown. This offense, even though they had the lead, they do not sit on it. They are aggressive. They take risks. And what a game. 
Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Makes a move and gets around the defender. for the defense here working that left side and incompletion right there but it really should have been an interception second down here Foles will take it from the gun throws the pass under pressure and incomplete Jackson's lined up now as a slot receiver. He'll throw it over the middle. They pick up the first down with that reception. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time. He throws it down the field for another completion. He's going deep. Right down Broadway. All the quarterbacks in the NFL, they'd all be great if they had all day to throw like this. When you give an average quarterback this kind of time, he turns into a great quarterback. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver. Running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses him. A receiver in the slot. Throws to the right. I know they need a lot of breaks to maybe win this football game. In the red zone now, they got to get in the end zone quick. Offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. That touchdown keeps them in the game, but they're going to need a lot of help from here. Yeah, they got an onside kick it here, Jim, and the good thing is their kicker does an excellent job of finding a way he can make it bounce really in the air. What it turns out to be, it's just a jump ball, so it's a good chance. They're lining up here for the onside kick. down they have the ball back and the plays continuing the onside kick is not legal until the football travels 10 yards The Seahawks will approach this play from out of the pistol. First and ten, Harvins handed the football. Breaks free, gains 12. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. First down here after the run. Takes an eight. Lining up for a 44-yard field goal. Hey, 
And he drives it through for the field goal. When you get great field position, Jim, you got to take advantage of it. The offense didn't do it. I blame the coach. Those were terrible play calls, but a good kick by the kicker. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. They're setting up the return. That little wiggle just left the defender standing there. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. This game's come to an end. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same, that I enjoyed spending these last three <laughs> hours with you.